We could be talking about our third heat wave of 2022 here. We got up to 91 degrees on Tuesday at Atlantic City International Airport, and we're going to likely be in the 90s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The definition of a heat wave, three or more days with 90 degree or greater heat, and we certainly look to at least have a chance for that by the time we get towards Friday here. Now, the reason for this hot and humid weather is because of that high pressure system that is sitting just to the east of Bermuda on Wednesday morning. That brings a south to southwest wind around that clockwise spinning high pressure system. And as I put this loop forward, you see that it only gets stronger and actually moves a little bit further to the west as we go later into the week. So it is staying hot. It will be staying humid at least until Friday. Even though the weekend might not be to 90 degrees, it will be plenty humid as well. Let's take a look at our muggy meter for you here. You know, once you get above 70, that's when it's very muggy here, and we will be there at times as we go into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even Monday as well. As long as that Bermuda high is strengthening and staying nearby, we will have the chance for very humid weather. So not the best for your hair, I know, but it is August at the Jersey Shore and in South Jersey. All right, let's take a look at our future cast. This is Wednesday here. Staying clear. Temperatures are going to flirt with 90 degrees as we go into the afternoon. Sure, we'll stay in the 80s. Staying mainly clear as we go into our Wednesday night. This is now Thursday for you. Temperatures 96 in Philly, 94 over in Bridgeton and Cumberland County. Uh, maybe you're going to Atlantic City. Want to hang out on the boardwalk? 82 is looking pretty good there. And as we go into Thursday night, still staying mainly clear. Friday morning looking good. It won't be until late on Friday that we start to see that rain potential again. We do need the rain here. Cape May, Cumberland, Atlantic counties in July were 26 to 50% below average. Ocean County, at least 50% below average for the county as a whole here. You start to see that rain coming in from Pennsylvania at about 8.30 p.m. Should be a Friday night thing for us, and that will be some good news. For your Wednesday morning, it should be Wednesday morning, plenty of sunshine to go around, temperatures Rising through the 70s into the 80s here. And for Wednesday itself, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures right around 90 degrees. It will be darn close here. If you do want to go to the beach, we are looking good here. Wave heights will be just around a foot. Uh, wave periods are on the lower end too. So that is good news when it comes to rip currents. It will be a low risk for rip currents. And we will have a southeasterly swell. Uh, Wednesday night will be mainly clear. Low temperatures around 70 degrees. And then here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Thursday is going to be the peak of the heat. Heat index around 105. So make sure you're thinking about staying cool, carrying water with you. And as we go into Friday, should really be a mostly dry day during the daytime hours here. Then as we go into Saturday, a few scattered p.m. showers and storms. At this time, I do think Sunday is going to be the drier of the two days here. In fact, I'm going completely dry with Sunday. A little bit of sand flying up the beach, though, with that southwesterly wind. And then we see some scattered showers and storms from Monday and Tuesday. You can follow me on social media for the latest in South Jersey weather. And come to our website, PressofAC.com. We do have our new Something in the Air podcast, recapping the month of July with New Jersey State climatologist, Dr. Dave Robinson.